In this video, we will learn how to use the Identify button in TIMS. On the TIMS homepage, click on Create a Map. The resulting page will show a map of the state of Ohio, and on the left hand side of the screen will be a list of layers with a blue bar of icons above it. The first icon is the default and shows the layers. We're also going to use the third icon, which is the Identify button, and is symbolized with a lowercase i with a circle around it. In order to have something to identify, let's go ahead and turn on one of the layers. Click on Assets, and then click on Culvert Inventory to open that group. In order to see the culverts, you'll have to zoom in to a reasonable level and then the culverts show up. Notice that if you're not sure what this symbol refers to, you can click on the legend tab and it will show you that the green dot means culvert inventory. You can always get back to your layers by clicking on the layers tab again. Now in order to learn more about this culvert, your instinct will tell you to click on it, but that's not enough you're going to have to use the Identify button, which is the third icon in your dark blue list of icons in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Left-click on Identify Features, and the text will tell you to click on the map to select the feature you're interested in. In this case, I'm going to click on Ashland 250 at the 12.001. .001. Notice that my cursor has changed to a crosshair, which means that I'm in the identify mode. When I click on it, a yellow highlight box selects anything inside of it. In this case, is just the culvert. On the left hand side of the screen, I can now see a list of attributes including its location and its route. I can also see inventory information like the span and its size. And if I scroll down even further, I can see additional information that was gained from inspections. Towards the bottom of the list are comments and then if there were any modifications done to the culvert they would be listed here where it now says null. This culvert has never been modified. Now remember in order to get to all of this information it's necessary to use the identify button but you can do on any one of these culverts. Clicking on another one, I get the same kind of list but with information specific to the culvert at the 11.635. If I want to go back to my list of layers, I have to come up here to my series of icons and click on Set Visible Layers again. Here I can add to my culvert inventory by also turning on my bridge inventory and I find that there's a bridge nearby. Now using my identify features tool again I can click on the bridge but this time my yellow box has selected not only the bridge but the culvert. My results layers show the culvert inventory but if I hit the toggle arrow I can scroll down and click the bridge inventory instead. Now I see information regarding the bridge over Lane Creek. If you want to reduce the confusion of clicking a culvert instead of a bridge, go back to your layers by clicking on the Set Visible Layers icon and turn the culvert inventory off. Now when you use your Identify Features tool to click on a bridge, only results for the bridge will show up.